So Destiny 2 is the UK's biggest launch of 2017, but it has dropped quite a lot from the original. What is going on guys? Randall Thor 19, the man with the million, back again with another video. And yeah, it's Destiny Day on my channel. If you missed it, I posted my campaign review earlier today where I went over my thoughts on just the campaign. I didn't play any multiplayer. I put 25 hours into the game. I'm not really raid ready, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to give my thoughts on the game. You guys can check it out if you want, uh, you know, to see what I thought about Destiny 2. And then today we get a little bit more information about how it's performing in the UK. Now we got a little bit wait a little bit longer, about probably another month before we know uh, how it's done in the United States or elsewhere, unless Activision comes out and gives us a press release. The only bit of information we have is that, A, it's done 1.2 million concurrent users, which they announced the other day, but I don't really find that impressive, considering Halo 3 had 1.2 million concurrent users all the way back in 2007, 10 years ago, on a single platform. And, you know, some of the Call of Duties, like Black Ops 2, did that as well on a single platform. So having 1.2 million concurrent on two platforms isn't that really impressive, especially considering how look forward to how hype people were for Destiny 2. But anyways, let's get into the topic at hand. Destiny 2 is the UK's biggest launch of 2017, but it has fallen way short of the original. Um... Of course, we're going to get into some of the counter arguments here in a second. Uh, so Destiny 1 in the UK, uh, th when it launched three years ago, sold 417,000 copies retail, right? And now if you add up the numbers for Destiny 2, you'll find that it has only sold 175,000, which gives you a difference of 242,000 copies less. Now this is all only retail, right? Um, and it goes on to say here in the article, it is the latest major sequel on this console generation that has struggled to live up to its predecessor, following in the footsteps of Watch Dogs 2 and Titanfall 2. However, it's important to note that digital is taking ever bigger slice of the console market. So that is true. Digital has gotten bigger since 2014. It, a lot of people are going more and more digital, so that is true. And also, you know, the original Destiny launched on the 360 and the PS3 as well. In fact, it sold 58,000 copies on the 360 and 17,000 copies on the PS3 back in 2014 for a total of 75,000. And that's obviously, it's, this Destiny 2 is not on the older gen, so it loses those sales. Although you would imagine some of those 360 and some of those PS3 users have probably upgraded in the meantime. So, of course... We're not counting digital, so that's obviously we know it's sold more than 175,000. But the question is, that is a big difference to make up. It dropped 242,000 units, and I don't think digital would make up all of that. Of course, then you have uh, the staggered release dates. Destiny One launched on a Tuesday. Destiny Two launched on a Wednesday, so Destiny One had an extra day of sales during the same comparison period. So I'm just trying to get all the facts out there because I know people are going to come out, you know, come and say like, well, this, this, and that, and the other. So I'm saying yes, no digital included, so that's going to make up some of the sales. Destiny One had a bigger window to pick up sales. It launched a day earlier. There is a PC release that I'm sure some people. Uh, quite a lot of people are probably waiting for, which doesn't release until like a month and a half from now. So I'm sure that has affected the numbers. And yeah, digital's bigger than it ever has been before. But I'm just wondering, and the reason I, I'm, I'm doing the video is because I wonder how this is going to skew to the American market. Because the UK market and the, and the US market tend to mirror each other pretty well. Is retail going to be down in the United States uh, as well? But digital up? Because I remember Dis Destiny 1 in 2014, that was like the first title pe people decided to go all digital on because they thought they'd be playing all the time. So it's kind of, I I know when you, you get this stuff, you look at it and you're like, well, you can't really make any sort of predictions or take any analysis from this. Other than it seems like the retail market is meaning less and less and less for games as we go on. But still... 
you can't deny the fact that 417,000 copies of Destiny 1 and 175,000 copies of Destiny 2 is a big drop-off in retail. And yeah, like I mentioned, all the counter-arguments are there. Bigger digital, PC released, Destiny 1 with the extra day, all that stuff. It's just kind of interesting to see this all unfold in front of us. And I love these kind of uh, sales talk and, and the numbers and things like that. So now, of course, I'm curious to see how it's done in other places, how it's done in Germany, how it's done in uh, United States, Mexico, Canada. I'm kind of curious to see how it's done in the rest of the world. I mean, we already know 1.2 million concurrent users between two platforms, but I think that was a little bit blown out of proportion. PUBG is a million just on Steam, and that's a $30 indie game. You know, Halo and the Call of Duties were doing that stuff 10 years ago. So to see them kind of Activision kind of talk about that and not really say, by the way, we just broke revenue records or sales records for Destiny yet. I mean, we haven't gotten any PR from Activision. Might be a little bit telling. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all this. Is this, are people making a mountain out of a molehill? Is digital really going to make up the difference of the 242,000 units that are separating one and two? Uh, how much does all that matter? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested in seeing what people have to say about it. Uh, check out the review of Destiny 2's campaign when you got the time. I think you guys might enjoy it. Um, if you enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Later.